One beautiful, hot and sunny day, Aqua Claire and her friends went to Rapid Bay. Together they ran along the beach, collecting any rubbish they could reach. But what about the rubbish they cannot see? What about the rubbish under the sea? The sun was shining high in the sky, when to her friends she waved goodbye. Into the water and down below, to the ocean floor Aqua Claire did go. As she entered the water, Aqua Claire befriended Cedric, the old wife. What a funny little fish you are, she said. Look at this plastic straw that someone threw onto the street. It has washed down the drain and then into the ocean, said Cedric crossly. Cedric helped Aqua Claire collect the plastic straw. Oh, thank you so much, Aqua Claire, said Cedric. Come with me, I'll introduce you to all my friends. And off they went together. Hi Josie, Cedric welcomed and introduced his friend, the anglerfish. Look who came with me today. Aqua Claire is helping me to clean the ocean. She can take care of your plastic knife and fork too. Pleased to meet you and thank you. These things are sharp and pointy and I may step on them when I walk on the bottom of the ocean. But I don't know what they're for, said Josie, handing Aqua Claire her knife and fork before swimming away. Aqua Claire, meet Lee on the pyjama squid. He is very shy. Let's talk to him before he buries himself in the sand, Cedric whispered to Aqua Claire. Aqua Claire will help us get rid of that broken spectacle you've got there. She will take it from the ocean and put it straight into a recycling bin, Cedric quietly explained to his stripy friend. Oh, you are so helpful, said Leon, who blew Aqua Claire a big goodbye kiss with one of his eight tentacles. Here you are, said Alice the leather jacket. Josie told me everything. You've come to help us clean up our ocean. You're our hero. Look at all the soy sauce plastic fish containers. I thought they were new friends who came to play hide and seek. But they don't talk and they swim funny, said Alice. I'll help, said Aqua Claire, placing the messy plastic containers into her diving bag. Take care, Alice, said Aqua Claire as she and Cedric swam away. Time to meet Sylvia and Sylvester, the leafy sea dragons, said Cedric. We need to be very, very quiet. They are timid and usually hide away. Divers love them. They often visit to take a photo. One of the divers broke a camera lens and left it here, and now they are worried that someone is watching them all the time. Hi, beautiful leafies, said Aqua Claire. I'll take the broken lens with me. No need to worry. See you soon and Aqua Claire and Cedric swam quietly away to continue their adventure. So, you are the famous girl that helps us all. Welcome, my friend. I'm Olivia, the blue-ringed octopus. I have carried this ring for months now. It tickles my tentacles, and I don't know what to do with it. I wouldn't want any of my friends to swallow it. Not a problem. I'll take care of it, said Aqua Claire carefully placing the ring into the diving bag. Don't worry about it anymore. Bye. You are my saviour, Aqua Claire, replied Olivia. Hello, Cyril. Did you hear yet? Aqua Claire is here to help us all. What have you got there? said Cedric to his friend, Cyril the seahorse. Oh, this is a cotton bud that has found its way into the ocean. The ocean isn't a bin. Can you please take it away, Aqua Claire? So I can use my tail to anchor myself to the seagrass again, said Cyril. Yes, I can help, volunteered Aqua Claire. I'll put it in the rubbish bin on land. Take care, Cyril. You must be Carl, the decorator crab. Cedric told me you tried to take this bread tag off with your pair of claws and four pairs of legs. Oh, poor thing, let me help you, said Aqua Claire. Oh, I cannot thank you enough, Carl responded. We are so lucky to have you, Aqua Claire. Please visit us more often, said Carl. As often as I can, Carl, she replied. I wish people used less plastic and made sure all their rubbish went into the bin. Come on, Cedric, we still have lots to do. Are you the famous Aqua Claire helping us to clean the ocean? George the Blue Groper asked. Yes, I am. Pleased to meet you, George. Cedric wanted me to come. 
We heard that you found an old cable that got trapped in your large tail and needed help to remove it from the ocean. I can take care of it, she responded. Aqua Claire put the old cable into her diving bag and off they went. Let me introduce Jack the Squid, said Cedric. Hello guys, my siblings and I like to have a little fun, but when I turn around to find my brothers and sisters to play with them, I can see nothing but plastic bags. Can you help please? replied Jack. Too easy, said Aqua Claire, and quickly placed the plastic bags into the diving bag to take to the rubbish bin later. Where have you been? I hoped you would come soon, said Peter the pipefish. What really bothers me is that I don't know what to do with this plastic cap. It looks yummy and pretty to eat. My friends eat plastic by mistake and it makes them really sick. I'll help, said Aqua Claire, and she put it straight into the diving bag. Thank you so much, said Peter. You are the best. Hope to see you again soon. Think of all the marine life we have helped, said Aqua Claire, when the underwater adventure came to the end. Aqua Claire and Cedric looked inside the diving bag to find a straw, a fork and knife, a broken spectacle, many soy sauce fish containers, a broken camera lens, a ring, a cotton bud, a bread tag, a cable, two plastic bags and a plastic cap. Claire promised to take it all the way to the bin. They gave each other a hug and agreed to see each other soon for another clean-up day under the sea. After she left the water, Aqua Claire emptied all the rubbish into the bin. Starring Aqua Claire, Cedric the Old Wife, Josie the Anglerfish, Leon the Pajama Squid, Alice the Leather Jacket, Sylvia and Sylvester the Leafy Sea Dragons, Olivia the Blue Ringed Octopus, Cyril the Seahorse, Carl the Decorator Crab, Peter the Pipefish, Jack the Squid, and George the Blue Groper.